Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on a full health commando build, as I've been getting lots of comments to do a build like this, and this is what I've come up with, and I think it's very effective, and I feel you will enjoy this, so let's get into it here. Okay, so let's talk about the special points, the perk cards, and all that fun stuff before we get into showcasing the build. So this is what we're gonna have for our special points. And now keeping in mind, this is more of like the expert type of the build. I will include a beginner build a little bit further on here. And these are the perk cards that I chose to use. Now I did put in a lot of extra perks under strength like pack rat, sturdy frame, strong back. You don't necessarily need these. You could throw them into science perks or whatever you want really. I just felt like this build was lacking a little bit of carry weight. So I feel like those three perks helped more than a little bit. So that's kind of why I chose them. Everything else I definitely stand by here and I feel like it will be more than useful. Um, you don't really need damage reduction perks in my opinion for this build as you're going to be extremely tanky, which I'm going to show later on in the build as well. So I just didn't really you know, put a lot into endurance if you're wondering that as well. Plus born survivor on, you're pretty much going to be invincible with this build. And here's the, the or here's the uh, legendary perk cards that I'm using as well. And taking one for the team is especially beneficial to this build. So make sure you have that on. Now, if you do want to use energy weapons more than ballistic weapons, I did make a quick build here as well with the science perk cards on, which do affect energy rifles. So if, you know, you're using, you know, an Enclave Flamer or even the Ultrasight rifle here that I'm using, this build will probably benefit you just a little bit more. So I thought I would just throw this in here as well. Those science perk cards definitely make a little bit of difference. And this is the beginner build that I came up with. Now keep in mind, this won't be as powerful as I'm going to show later on in the video, but it should very much keep you alive, and it's a very good start to this build if you're a bit of a low level and don't have access to all the legendary perk cards. So with this build, I didn't even include legendary perk cards at all. And yeah, pretty much stand by everything I put on at this build as well. Um, Arms Keeper, I think, is almost a game changer. I feel like rifles are more weapons, like I, I feel like rifles are what you pick up more than any other type of weapon. So this will really save you some carry weight. Not to mention you'll be able to carry four or five rifles with you and you won't have to worry too much about the weight. So that's why I threw that on there in case you're wondering. And no legendary perk cards, like I said, for the beginners. Now, for the armor, I am using vanguards in this video, but if you want to be overpowered to the max, I highly recommend overeaters and keeping your food and drink levels high, but to be honest, you can probably use any armor with this build. You are extremely overpowered. As long as you have some armor on, you will be extremely overpowered, and that's another great thing about this build. You can pretty much pick whatever prefix you want, I think. And here's the mutations that I'm using. You definitely don't want Adrenal with this build. Eagle Eyes, yes. Maybe Egghead to rank up a little bit quicker. Healing Factor's nice. I recommend Herbivore with this uh, build as well, just so you can take advantage of the Company T benefits. Uh, herd Mentality, Marsupial, you don't even need Scaly Skin. And Speed Demon is definitely a good one as well. Um, I also recommend using Ultrasight Ammo if it's not a pain in the butt for you to craft it. You're just going to need a little, all the extra damage you can get with this build. Um, I also recommend Anti-Armor Weapons. Um, I can't really think of anything that would be better than Anti-Armor for this build. Like Vampires is not going to be really the greatest. Um, even Bloodied is definitely not going to work with this build. Anti-Armor is definitely my first pick for this build if you're going to use a type of weapons. And again, Company T is your best friend with this build, as you're going to be lacking a little bit of AP for VATS. But if you run around and don't use VATS, then this build is 
perfect for you. But if you want to use VATS a lot, I highly recommend getting the company team machine. I'm showing it here on the scoreboard. It's very early or early on in the scoreboard and you may not even know that you have it. So get that placed at your camp. And the effects here, you can see the AP regen by 25% is huge. You can see I do not have company T going here. And you can see I'm just running out of AP instantly when I'm using VATS. If you have company T, you will still run out of VATS quickly, but it will be replenished very quickly. And besides all that anyway, you'll still get the job done with this build. It's just not as good as an unyielding build for the VATS anyway. And the main purpose of this build, I would think most people's motivation for using it is so you don't die. The damage output, not too amazing with this build, although it will get the job done. It'll pretty much kill anything you need it to do. But the defense on this build is just through the roof. You can see a pile of ghouls here just don't even have a chance at ever killing me. I even went up to a behemoth here and just let him, you know, smash me around with his bat here or whatever you want to call it. Had no chance of killing me. And, and Born Survivor is on as well too, so you don't even have to think about stim packing. As you can see here, I will get to low health and Born Survivor just takes care of the stim packing. And yeah. Highly unlikely anything's going to kill you. You'll have so much extra time to pop a stim pack. You'll be seeing your health going down. And as I'm going to show here as well, the damage output may not be the best, but it still gets the job done considering what it does to a behemoth here. You will have no problem with general mob enemies like super mutants and scorched. You'll kill them instantly. Um, even a Mire Alert Queen here I wanted to show as well, you know, probably one of the more um, damaging enemies that you could run into with the poison. I don't have any poison reduction perks on or anything like that. And you can see even the Mire Alert Queen couldn't really kill me too fast. If I just sat here, I'm sure she would eventually kill me. But, you know, if you got Board Survivor on and you keep an eye on your health, even just a little bit... The, nothing is really going to be able to kill you. You're pretty much invincible with this build, like I said. If with Overeaters, you pretty much will be invincible with this build. But like I said, that's the great thing about this build. Maybe you want to, you know, have... Um, I don't know, like not so much vanguards or overeaters, but something else you maybe you would want to have for your armor. This build is great for that if you just want to do something else. And again, let me know in the comments if there's anything else I may have left out. I'd be glad to hear from you. And as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the build.